My awesome thing is TikTok. It has definitely <laughs> helped me pass the time. Mm. And I just keep finding it's like to me visual Twitter. Like I just sit there and scroll and scroll and scroll and watch and watch and watch. Um and the algorithm's nice and I really like like odd hashtags in there like tool porn uh, is a good one if what? you like pool? tools oh tool porn tool. i thought you said tool porn I thought... they have all kinds of tricks for power tools okay i thought you were saying um, pool porn and i'm like no. it, like <laughs> swimming pools tool with like, a t like like bar pool no. <laughs> <laughs> swimming no in in the swimming pool no tool <laughs> they, have, they have all kinds of neat tricks you can do with power tools um i'm into the woodworking videos um it's just it's just a lot of fun if you look at tool porn and you look at the guy where he puts the key in the power drill to screw in the hook it's a pretty neat nifty little is that like the first one that's up here (laughs) it was probably i think it was down oh there it is yeah no it's the first one that pops up (laughs) up. yeah oh and and and, yeah the the hook screws in okay i Mm -hmm. got you there you go that's what that uh, there's some go ahead some good woodworking ones, um, PC builds that are always interesting and impressive. Um, there's I, It led me down a whole path of wallpaper IO on Steam. Um, so I invested, I think, a whole, what, $3.99 on that to play around. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It's just been It's just been a way to pass the time, find a bunch of stuff that I'm interested in, and then kind of lead me down a different path to tinkering mm-hmm. around the house. This is something we kind of deep dive, um, uh, Katie and I uh, next week. But but you know, you're talking about like a- anybody's on here, any interest is in there. Like you know, I, I wouldn't imagine t- tools, right? Because uh, yeah, you know, we talk about like you get on there. If you know, the first thing you see on TikTok is like you know, like some teenager twerking, and you're like, I shouldn't be here. Um, but if you keep going with it, you'll find stuff like this. I guess. Um, I mean, it's different for the new user experience by now, but I mean, you know, like six months ago when you did it before everybody, everybody was on it. Um, that seemed to be the case. There's a whole thing. If you're into using, is it, I don't know how it's pronounced cricket, like the paper cutting wood cutting tool. Cry cut. Cry cut. There's a whole cry cut segment. Um, there's a, there's a lot of good ones. What's the one that was odd. Is it? I remember. Hold on. I just I just pulled up a cry cut machine just to see what the heck this thing is. So it's like yeah, um, you, your wife has one, doesn't she? Missy has one. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. It's one of those things. <laughs> oh, it's a, I still can't describe it. <laughs> the cry cut is coming from inside the house, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> she was making Christmas. No, she's making wedding invitations with it one time. Oh, sure, like yeah. with the with the ornamentals and everything. So yeah, yeah, and trying to mimic something they found online. I was like, okay. Um, I was like, your project, not mine. Uh, so uh, okay. There's, there's a whole weird, and I wouldn't recommend rec- recommend doing this on the show, but there's a whole weird subculture around accountants. Um, <laughs> don't, don't tell me what I shouldn't search while live on the show. Yeah, like if you look up accountant, like hashtag accountant. What the hell? This... I didn't realize like this was a whole like like it's a bunch of ladies hoarding money. It... I'm loving all of it. I'm loving right, this whole but... conversation. So did you did you know about the whole accountant thing? Well, I stumbled well, I into did. it. Oh, no, you did. No, I just I I just searched for it, and I'm just like, what? How did what? so? How did that originate? I don't know. Um. Well, it, well, someone had started. So sex workers. Um are not you know there there's a lot of obviously mm-hmm. stigma around it especially on social media platforms and um that they would came apart as like kind of a joke where somebody would ask you know what do you do for a living and they're a sex worker and they're like i'm an accountant i mm-hmm. do the things accountants do and there's a whole sound that goes along with it so it's a lot of um of folks were able to use that to you know and poke fun at the whole thing and you know they're doing their talking about their actual jobs but they're like i'm an accountant i do things accountants do i work in a place accountants work no one no one asks questions to accountants like when you say you're Mm -hmm. an accountant no one asks you like what's that like this is uh, tell me more this is similar to some other podcasts and people that we know uh who when people ask them what they do and they're professional podcasters but you don't want to explain what being a professional podcaster is and you say that you're a ceramicist 
because nobody asks any questions if you say <laughs> you're a ceramicist. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I just learned, and now that's in my well, that's in my algorithm. It's now in your algorithm. Yep.